Darktable 5.2 is out now, and we are continuing our look at all of the new features. Let's go. Hi, and welcome to episode 159 of Understanding Darktable. Next up, under UI UX improvements, they've replaced the zoom range widget in the light table view, which used to be a slider. Now it is simply a plus and minus. They called it a spin wheel in the release notes, but I'm not seeing that as a spin button. But yeah, so that control there is now the way that you control the number of thumbnails that appear per row. So if you want five, click five, hit enter, you've now got five thumbnails per row. Or you can use the plus and minus buttons as well. The other one relates to the color balance RGB module and specifically the four ways tab. According to the release notes, in the four ways tab in color balance RGB, control click now picks the actual color while regular click continues to pick the opposite color. This gives users more flexibility and control when selecting hues. Now, to see that in action, let's say we go to the global offset and I will just introduce about 50% global offset. If we click on the eyedropper, it selects some blue tones. I find I have to control click twice before it reverses that, but it eventually does and it jumps to something in the oranges which is the opposite side of the color wheel from the blue now why it chose blue i'm not sure but simple left click will go to the opposite color and control click will select the actual color according to the release notes so yeah hopefully that's of benefit to somebody the rest of the stuff that's in the release notes is all under the hood stuff and I will leave the link to that in the description down below so if you want to go and read all of the changes that have been made in Darktable 5.2 you can do that. Alright, questions, comments, sing out down below and I'll catch you in the next one.